folks. I opened up my zipper package last night and that's what I got. <laughs> a bag of parts all mixed together, a pair of pliers, and an instruction sheet. A bag of parts. <laughs> I was expecting a little plastic container all separated in a different... Nope. So, you would have think for the price that I paid for it, they would have had the parts all separated. But no, nope. so you just kind of got to dump them out and look for the size that you need. So, that coat's still not fixed. Of the two sizes that were close, one was too big, one was too small. The one that was too big, it fits over... It fits over the teeth, but it doesn't squish them together far enough. It's too wide, so it doesn't close the zipper. And the one that was too small, it seems like it's the right width, but it's it's not thick enough for the teeth. The teeth won't go into it. The teeth are too wide. <laughs> of course, somewhere in the middle. So I found out there's a sewing place in town, so I was suggested to me that I should go there and see if they got anything. So I figured, well, Ken's got a broken zipper on his sweater. A sweater that he really, really likes and he wants to keep wearing, so I figured, okay. Nope. It's the same size as my jacket, apparently. And my coat. <laughs> Can't win. So... What the heck? Okay, that's interesting. I'm gonna take a screen cap of that. I have a picture. And... If I tap on the picture, it gets rid of the bar at the bottom. You know, the send or delete or whatever the editing bar thingy. And if I tap on the picture, that goes away, and all I see on the screen is the picture. Well, I'm trying to do that. It's not working. I ended up double tapping, and I selected text in a picture. <laughs> so I'm going to show you that right now, just to prove it. That's that's a picture. So Mother Nature dumped on us last night. She threw a fit and kind of attacked us a little bit. I got pretty crazy at times. So we yeah, are snow squall warning. Uh, snow snow squalls up like here on tonight. The heavy snow and blowing snow. Snowfall accumulations near 15 centimeters in 12 hours are possible. And continuing into Tuesday, which is today. The rapidly accumulating snow could make travel difficult over some locations. Travel may also be hazardous due to very low visibility and bursts of heavy snow and blowing snow. The strong and gusty winds in the wake of a sharp cold front are ushering in fresh arctic air, resulting in snow squalls across the region. And I kept up pretty much all night. So I don't have video of the squalls, but I did take a screen capture. That's pretty much what it looked like all night, so... <laughs> yeah, every once in a while, you know, I'd hear the wind hitting my window, or not the wind, but... Hear the wind blowing the snow against my window. It sounded like someone spraying sand at my window. It got pretty crazy there a few times. But the wind has died down now. It's minus five right now. Brr. And apparently we got more snow coming. But... I'm not shoveling. And the reason I'm not shoveling is because I saw the forecast. Um, <laughs> there's a double digit day in there. And after that, right up to December 21st, it's going to be above zero the whole time, like daytime temperatures. So this 14 day forecast, this can change at any time, but that kind of gives me an indication that I'm not going to need to shovel because this is just going to melt away. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it melt. 
So I can't use my Timmy's app today. Um, I do have change on me, so... I will be paying cash for my coffee today, because for some reason the Timmy's app's not working. Not like that's never happened before. That's so all. I won't get points. I could use my physical card. But the whole, usually when the app doesn't work, the whole system's not working. So even if I use my physical card to collect points. It generally doesn't work either. Um, made a comment yesterday in the last video about uh, flags being at half mast. Oh, found out what it was, and I can't remember now. I think it was the anniversary of D Day. Some kind of war memorial. I think that's what it was. I think it was the anniversary of D-Day, December 6th. I think that's what Michelle told me. Michelle would know because she's part of a... She comes from a military family, so... But it just kind of made me laugh that everybody's flags were at half mass and nobody knew why. <laughs> we were told to do it, okay? <laughs> so now that I've got the bolts loosened on the roll bar extension, I was going to call my dealer today. Because that's kind of, you know, I can't do anything. If I can't take that roll bar extension off, it's not going to fit in any of the vehicles. So that was kind of my concentration. So now that that's done, I want to clarify what he needs from me as far as emailing him what needs to be done. So I was going to call him today and ask him what it was exactly that he needs from me. And I realized today is December 7th. He is on vacation December 6th to the 13th. <laughs> And here come the delays, right? I knew that before, I just forgot. So, and at some point in time, there's going to be a Christmas break in there as well. Speaking of Christmas, I realized, um, on the 15th, I find out how much money I, I made off of YouTube and how much I'm going to get paid. I get paid on the 21st, generally. Uh, the money may not be in the bank that day, but that's the day that it's sent to my bank. The 21st is usually, generally, when we get our ODSP checks. They send it early in December, which kind of messes up January for us, because we get an extra week that we have to pay for. So I'm going to have this huge mass of money all of a sudden just show up. So i got to make sure, you know... Everything's paid for before I use that. This is everything's coming at once. This is kind of weird. So. Anyway, I don't think I have anything else I want to talk about. So I'm going to go out. i got to go get milk today. And I'm going to stop at Volume Art. And then I'm going to stop at Timmy's before I come home. So I'm just kind of going to do everything backwards today. Not entirely sure. I might attempt to park because I'll be going downhill. The snow's not super wet, so I shouldn't have an issue. Like I say, I'll be going downhill, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Of course, that all depends on you know how many tree branches came down <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> I guess we'll find out with that. So well, that's all I have planned. I go out and have me some fun. I'm using a regular camera today, not in a waterproof case, so it should stay recording the whole time. <laughs>
Oh, it's kind of a nice drive through the park. <coughs> it's still a pretty crisp breeze out there, though. And the wind chill driving the monster. It's like, oh, my face is frozen now. That's why I got hair. And that's why I leave it long in the winter time. Extra insulation. Boy, it's just crazy. I'm not sure if I mentioned I couldn't I couldn't sign into the Timmy's app because I usually take a screen cap of my QR codes one for points and one for payment and they, it it took me to a sign in page but didn't give me options to sign in <laughs> there was no no text box to enter anything into so I got the Timmy's, I knew I was going to be paying cash. And I got to the window and he told me, he says, the points aren't working right now, I think they're down for maintenance. So I said, yep, I already know. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough cash. I did. But when I went to Max, I got to, I got my milk and I grabbed a couple bag tags. And she accidentally only charged me for one. So rather than, you know, using my card again, I just paid cash. And that was 250 right there. So that took most of my change. <laughs> I only have a, a dollar. It's, it looks like it's almost two dollars, but I wasn't gonna sit there and drive through it and count through it. So, okay, I use my card. So that's my day. Um, I'm rather chilled now. I didn't see that store that Michelle was telling me about to get my zipper from. That it's. It doesn't look like it's specifically a, a sewing place, so I can't remember what it's called, something boutique. She said it was right beside the optometrist, and this boutique place is flowers and gifts. That's the only place I saw. So I'm going to ask her if that's it. Probably is. Oh, oh my goodness. So that's it. i got to go in where it's warm now. <laughs>